If you want to find the equation of the normal line, not the tangent line, it's the exact same process. All you have to know is that the normal line is perpendicular to the tangent line. So this is not a common question, but I have seen professors ask it before. So to find the equation of the tangent line, you need to take the derivative, and the derivative will give you the slope of the tangent line for any x value you want to plug in. So if I plug in 2, and if you watch my last video, this is the exact same thing I did in my last video. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Now that's the slope of the tangent line. If I want the slope of the normal line, since the normal line is perpendicular to the tangent line, perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. So my slope is not 5, it's negative 1 over 5. Very important to remember. Now if I want to write the equation of a line, I need a slope and a point. I have a slope, but I need a point. To find the point, I'll plug my x value into the function to get my y value. So that's 2 squared plus 2 plus 1. 2 squared is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. That means my point is 2 comma 7. And now that I have a point and a slope, I can write the equation of that line, and I'll do it doing using point-slope form. That's usually the easiest. So that's y minus 7 equals minus 1 fifth x minus 2. And you could distribute that 1 fifth and add the 7 to put it in y equals mx plus b. I'm not even going to bother doing that. And if you wanted to change this to the equation of the tangent line, you could just take the negative reciprocal slope. You could just make that a 5 again, and vice versa. So this is how you would go to the tangent line. This is how you would get to the normal line. Okay, I hope you uh, got something out of that. I hope that explains a few things. Please like and subscribe, and tell me what other videos you want to see. Have a great day.